and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to edit a macro with VBA. Okay. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create mac uh, a button to run macros. Okay. So we have recorded a macro. We have made some edit to the macro. Now I want to build and run the macros this time around. I have opened the exercise file back up. I have closed the VBA windows that we were looking at in the prior video tutorial. And I am currently on the create button to run macro worksheet. Okay. This is where this is where we are going to test how the macro that we created one button press is going to do all of those operations for us just like inserting the headers and format them for us auto fill the colon format the date and currency and turn on the big filters likewise okay all in one button uh, button pros so let's Take a look at how we can create a button and tie it to our macro. So just watch this. So there is actually multiple ways to accomplish this. I'm going to show you one of them. Here on the developer tab, right up here, top of my screen, uh, screen inside of the, the control section, I've got insert button. If I give that a click, okay. The very first button in there is a command button. Then I'm going to give that a click. Okay, just one click. Then come out to my worksheet. Okay, come out to my worksheet just by moving your cursor down to any area of your worksheet. You can see that the little plus sign. So I'm going to hold to hold my mouse and drag the drag just to play, create a little um rectangle okay now the moment that i let it go it's going to pop up my as assign macro window then i will grab the macro that i created that is the format table i'm going to hit on what okay button so i have now created a simple little table uh, a simple little button that runs macros for us now i can rename this button okay let's call it let's call it format table let's call it format table okay right now i have got a button up there and if i click that button okay if I click that button, it's going, it will bring back all the formatted head that I have named earlier in my previous video, video tutorial. Really need just one button press, okay? Alright? So, let me, you can, you can later click house anywhere outside the, your worksheet here. So, I'm going to give the button a click, okay? You can see, and I'm done. It is not formatted my table, and the all the headers are back on the on my worksheet. Okay, it formatted the date. You can see it formatted the date, likewise, and the currency, currency likewise there. So now just one button, one button press, and we got all of that to happen without going through all of those steps again so now just look at and uh, look for one of those weekly report that you are always dumping down into a z create just a single button to assess your format style and you are done with macro in this sense you are truly automating your experience within excel so try this out not only create a button but create some other macros think about things that you do inside of a z that you would like to automate create like just like creating chart creating power table doing simple formatting or building templates or adding calculation whatever it might be think about what you can automate or what is going to make your life easier just streamline your experience inside of a 
instead of Isaiah through this through the use of macros try this one button press okay um and then start creating some other macros thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so i'll keep giving you more of the excel function bye and stay blessed